We know our world is made up of three dimensions, corresponding to the X, the Y, and the Z axis. But what if I told you there was a fourth dimension? The time dimension. But, um, where would it go? It seems impossible, does it not? No, it is very much possible. Let's go to my archery field and I'll show you how. Oh, that was fast. Let's watch this again in slow motion. Now if we want to see the arrow's entire journey in three dimensions of space and one dimension of time, together at one glance, would we be able to do that? Yes, let's try by breaking this footage into discrete frames that show the position of the arrow. I can rearrange the frames in this manner. And voila, from the edges of the frames, I can see the arrow's entire journey, both through space and time. This line is called the arrow's world line. And this block, which fuses the three dimensions of space and one dimension of time together, called space-time. Space-time explains gravity as proposed by the general theory of relativity, which is a very difficult topic to understand. So, to make things a little easier, let's go to my physics workshop. Oh! In 1915, Einstein said that gravity is simply the warping of space-time, which is a little difficult to visualize. So, I built a device that mimics the warping of space-time and shows us how gravity works. I call this device the space-time grid. This device shows the working of space-time in two scenarios, zero gravity and in gravity. Let's start with the stationary ball in zero gravity. As for the laws of inertia, the ball continues to remain stationary in space, even though it's moving through time. And this is how the ball's world line would look on a space-time graph. Now let's imagine the same scenario in gravity. But this time, because the space-time has warped, we can observe an increasing distance between the ball's world line and the axis and the ball appears to be falling down due to gravity. And that's simply how gravity works, not by some spooky action at a distance force, but by the warping of space-time. 